<laughs> oh, look at that. It's been oh. nearly three years since Butter the dog made oh. her first appearance here on Fox 9. Look at how cute she was. Oh. This is January of 2020. We've seen Butter grow over the years, appearing on our show nearly every Monday. Well, guess what? Now Butter is a mom. Yay. Yes. Yay. She gave birth over the weekend, and Butter's owner, Dr. Eric Rulin from St. Paul Pet Hospital, joins us now via Zoom. Good morning. Morning. Congrats. Yes. <laughs> if, if I have huge, uh, huge circles under my eyes, it's because I've had all of two hours of sleep. That's what I was thinking. It's almost like having a new baby yourself and that a you're, newborn, yeah. you're tending to a lot of needs from a lot of dogs. Uh, uh, since Friday morning, it's, uh, it's, it's been pretty wild. So, um, yeah, we want to see how, how is butter doing, anyway, by the way, is, uh, hopefully you guys can see that. Um, um, it's kind of hard. A little down. Through. We got to see. Butter's right. doing fantastic. She's, you know, like a lot of young moms, she's exhausted. Like oh a lot gosh. of, like a lot of young moms, oh. she's just been a little bit. Um, she's been a little anxious, so mm -hmm. she's figuring things out. She's, she's getting, she's doing that a lot of her Looks like we're, we're having some yeah. technical puppies. issues. She's been trying to bring the puppy up. Uh, okay, Dr. Eric, obviously we're Aww. having a hard time with your connection there, but we did see that little pup that you brought up in your hands looking all cute. Three puppies over the weekend. There's Aww, some photos. There we go. You can see Butter there. She's like, oh, I'm hungry, man. That was tough. <laughs> she just like, I can, I can her relate. <laughs> she's like, Whoo. hanging her head in her bowl. She's got through. puppies to feed. <laughs> yeah, you know? she's got to keep <laughs> nourished, right, and energized. Okay, uh, we are going to try to, you know, check in with Dr. Eric at a, at a different time, but obviously we didn't have the greatest connection yeah. there. He's been busy. Butter's been busy, but we know that a lot of people have been following along, and obviously we've watched Butter yeah. Quite literally grow uh -huh. and then like she, really grow in the last, you know, what, 50, 50 days or something? And that gestation was so fast. Yeah. I, I think I, I was surprised. I forgot how I didn't short that period either. is. Like, wait, Butter, how did Butter have her baby? She just <laughs> got pregnant. Just and then got. we had to have the talk with Shane. Right. About how, how you know, works. Butter got babies. <laughs> and that was, did you finally, did you? Okay, there was a test and you passed. Yeah, I think Way so. Way to go. I think I'm ready to go. <laughs> uh, we're gonna stick with dogs because they could be the key to improving morale at the office. A Japanese tech company is actually encouraging workers to bring their pets to work. It opened an experimental dog office in one of its buildings. Now it's separate from other work areas and has space for up to six dogs at a time. The dog office also has stain proof carpets <laughs> and pet supplies and some employees who've been working remotely this is actually what is luring them back to the office with this tactic, which makes sense because you probably become very bonded to that dog mm -hmm. who now is used to you being home and then it's tough to leave and know there's yeah. going to be some separation anxiety, but if you can take them with you, right, socialize, like I always wonder, how, like, things. in that situation where there's these dogs all together in one room, we know sometimes dogs don't get along or there's chaos and how they manage that space. I mean, I can understand. It would be nice to have, you know, my pup next to me. My pup. My what pup. you're asking is, is there like a Paw Patrol well, <laughs> person in there? Not like the TV show I just yeah, came out, like, but you know. But yeah, I, I know. How and are they kind of regulated? Who's sort of, yeah, exactly. yeah, who's sort of, you know, managing the store, shall we say, of yeah. all the all the animals. Or but kicking out the naughty pups. Yeah. I think you have, one, hopefully you know your dog, too, and you know, like, my dog would not be down for this. Same. Piper would have zero interest. Now she would have interest to come and like sit next to me, mm -hmm. but to like socialize with your dogs, she'd be like, I'm not, I'd take I'm you back home. That. So I think you have <laughs> yeah. to know your dog. And then also I'm sure that there are, you probably get like warnings, you know, I mean, mm -hmm. okay, like, well, your dog didn't play nice today. So like, maybe don't bring him next time. I would think just like if you've ever done a doggy yep. daycare. Yeah. Oh yeah, they you kind know. of give you reports of like, yeah, they didn't really interact. And then you then you feel like you know you're disappointed in your pet. You need to have the talk and like, really, I thought you were going to do better. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, I guess so. Eric, uh, your connection is better, so we're going to. Doctor oh. Eric, we're good. Hi. Thumbs up. There good. we go. Oh, there we New go. New place too. <laughs> All right. Well, yeah, you guys, it was a long weekend. Like I said, um, sorry about the poor feed, but Butter's doing fantastic. She's doing great. We had a really long night on Friday. She started, she kind of started phase one labor. So uh, if you guys want to look this up, you can, but if you guys want to have a little information, I always had to do a refresher about pregnancy and, and puppies whelping. Cause we don't, you know, not a lot of people have seen puppies being born. So 
Um, obviously, I do it for my job. We do it more C sections, but she, she she had kind of a long light, a uh, long night on Friday, and then she had her first puppy, the first uh, the first little guy, which I will grab right here. Do you name them or not? Oh my um, goodness! So this little piglet was born at <laughs> uh, like ten thirty on on Saturday night, and um, hmm. and she had three she had three successful healthy ones. Like a lot of litters, um, we did have two that didn't make it. We tried as best we could. They were still born. Um, and uh, so I'll put her back. Um, but she's been doing really good. Uh, she's doing fantastic. She's a little bit, she gets a little anxious like a lot of young moms. She doesn't know exactly what she's doing sometimes. So she paces. And she's been, I've caught her now two times trying to move the whole litter up to my son's room, which is on the second floor. So. <laughs> Last night, so I've been sleeping right by, right by the whelping box, right by her, right here. I've oh, been sleeping wow. dedicated right dad. next to the, pretty much right next to her. Yeah. Um, and so last night, twice at two in the morning and about four, I caught her with a puppy in her mouth, moving, moving the puppies upstairs, and I told her, "You can't do that. You got to stay down here." <laughs> um, so everything is going good. Mom is happy and healthy. My, you know, we got three chunky, happy, healthy little puppies. Uh, they're doing great. So. Um, awesome. Yes, it's been a, it's been a fun experience, and Butter's doing great. Yeah, thanks for sharing the good news. Yeah, that is really sweet. Thanks. He called them a little piglet. It does kind of look like a little they piglet. Do, yeah. Dr. Eric, thank you so much. We appreciate it. Try to go take a nap, maybe. Sleep yeah. when yeah, the baby sleep. That's what they say. So good luck on that one. And all mothers do that. <laughs> yeah. so